Hello, Don't Hide Collectors. Today we have a special video on assembling a Black Rose Gashapon. As you see here on the top left, I have two of them here with two different hair colors. These are from HGIF Volume 1 and 2. Over here we have a silver one. The one in the middle is more of a pewter. We have a gold and we have a crystal. These three here were part of the Korean three packs. This one here was part of a Korean pre-order. And these two here were part of the Japanese uh, Gashapon capsules. They're all pretty much the same way. You have two feet, legs, skirt, torso, hand, hand, head, and sword. The assembly is pretty simple. However, they did not come with manuals at all. Most of the times they gave you a little pamphlet flyer that showed more about the collection as a series or other titles within the Dahak universe, such as the games. So there was no assembly, but it wasn't really necessary. So assembly, you have all these little pegs. No glue, no screwing. You just stick them in the hole. And that's it. Now for the torso, this is a little bit confusing, but on the back, part of the skirt is permanently attached to it. And right here at the waistline, there's a little belt buckle. And right up here is a little missing um, outlet. So the belt buckle shows through when the skirt comes down. And the feet have pegs. And obviously, left and right feet, the toes will be pointing inward. Like so. Now, the top of the waist are two holes, and the bottom of the torso has two pegs. So just insert them in, like so. The hand has an opening, and then this arm has a peg. So this tiny little hand will go right into this wrist, and this hand will go into the peg. That shows how she's beatboxing. So most positions have her arm sitting at the the uh, waist right there. And then the sword, well, you can get creative with a sword. You can have it behind the arm like so. On my gold one here, I have it positioned so that way it's just between the arms. So if you can get lucky, you can just have it resting right there between your arm. And then that's it. And that's how you assemble one of these gashapons. And like I said, the silver one and the pewter one, up close, you'll notice the silver one is more shinier. The pewter one has more like black accents to it. Oops, and I just pop one of the foot off. The volume one, volume two, HIF collection look very similar from the waist down, but the waist up, the skin tone is different and the hair colors are different. And also the one on the right, I think the details in the face are much more specific. 
even the color is darker than this color. The belt buckle is shinier than this one. And the clearer one, it's gotta be the coolest one so far because you can definitely see right through them. And the gold one, depending on the lighting, can look odd. On camera, it doesn't do it justice, but in person, let me show you, it's a lot different than what you see on camera. On camera, it kind of looks washed out, almost silvery. But that's definitely not the case. Yeah, in person, it just looks different. So anyhow, I just wanted to do a quick little video on how to assemble them and just to inform you, they really didn't come with instructions, but should be pretty straightforward. And there you have it. Thanks for watching.